Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you'd like to learn how to paint the painting behind me, keep watching. In this painting lesson video, I will show you how to paint an abstract expressionism version of this flower bouquet in acrylic paints. The style of the painting is a mix of abstract expressionism, pointillism, and impressionism. I structured this painting lesson video so that you can follow along and paint your version of my reference photo. Simply order the materials and download the photo. I've included the list of materials I use and a link to download my photo in the description below. Follow me on Instagram and tag your painting of this flower bouquet. I'd love to see it. Let's get started. Step one, set up your painting area. I covered the wall and floor of my painting area with plastic drop cloth and set the canvas on a portable easel. If you don't have an easel, use a chair or box to prop up your canvas. I'll be painting on a 36 by 48 inch gallery profile canvas. Feel free to paint on a smaller canvas. Step two, arrange your materials. I used the plastic the canvas was packaged in to protect this table. I laid out all the paints, brushes, palette knives, and disposable bowls for mixing. I'll be using the Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic Essentials set of 12 colors. Since I use a lot of titanium white and light yellow, I have big bottles for both. These materials are listed in the description below. Step three, ground your painting. I don't want this first layer to be flat. That's why I use the big flat brush to apply bold strokes that slightly vary in shade and thickness. Step four, have fun painting. Using my reference photo, I start to create the floral composition of lilacs, yellow flowers, and leaves. I'm intentionally not trying to copy the composition 100%. My goal is to capture the feeling of the flower bouquet and express it in a more abstracted way. I filter the image through my emotional lens. Method, how to mix paints. I create different hues and then create at least three shades, tints and tones of each hue. I challenge you to create as many distinct colors as you can. Color theory. Understanding the basics of color theory is important. I explain what hues, shades, tints, and tones are in the description below. Method, how to apply brush strokes. Keep three things in mind, thickness, size, and placement. I start out applying thinner and bigger brush strokes. With each layer, my brush strokes become thicker and smaller. This builds texture. I often paint in triplets, placing three shades of the color together. This unifies the colors and adds depth. I arrange about 50% of my brush strokes in triplets. The rest are applied spontaneously. You say take me on a treasure hunt When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Beauty lives in me too. 
In this light, you can see the texture of the brush strokes. The painting is approaching an interesting moment in its evolution. It's the moment when it begins to come alive. A painting comes alive when its focal point and visual path emerge. Suddenly, its initially disorganized brush strokes, shapes and colors harmonize into a unified visual story. Our eye travels to the focal point first and then follows the visual path, taking in the colors, shapes and textures of the painting. We go, ah, oh, this is nice, perhaps even beautiful. I want this in my living room. Method, spraying paint. Spraying paint adds texture and contributes to the expressive style of the painting. Here, I'm using a round brush to spray titanium white. Step 5. Add the final layer of brush strokes. This layer is the most satisfying layer to paint. All the previous layers build a stage for the final brush strokes to shine on. In this layer, I focus on defining the focal point and visual path. In order to do that, I break away from the reference photo and change the composition slightly to create a stronger visual path. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right Method. Step back and look at the composition. Here you see how I apply brush strokes and step back to look at the composition and then get closer again to keep painting. I do this repeatedly. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You and I, the future is bright. Method. Squeeze paint directly out of the bottle. I have 
get the feeling that the painting needed more texture in the focal point and visual path areas. So squeezing titanium white and light yellow straight out of the bottles felt like the right thing to do. Applying the last few drops. And the painting is finished. That's it for this painting lesson video, where I showed you step by step how to paint an abstract expressionism painting from start to finish. If you like this painting lesson video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more painting lesson videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Comment below with any questions, follow me on Instagram, send me a direct message, I'd love to hear from you. If this painting lesson video inspires you to paint your own version of this flower bouquet, share it on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see it. Until next time, be creative. <music>